Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a special love tarot reading session for you, Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today, it is a love message for the Leo sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message for you? What is the love message for Leo? What is their feelings towards you? What is their intention? If there's a new love reading in here or a new love opportunity, I will let you know. But this is an all about love reading for the Leo sign. Leo, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Leo, I invite you to also subscribe in our newsletter. It can be done by, it can be done by the website. In our website, you can also check the setting intention manifestation candle. There is one for you there. This is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a uh, you know a free birth chart reading. It comes with a tracking number and the full year overview astrology or horoscope. And numerology so there is at least $25 freebies that you will get for every purchase of the setting intention candle it can be customized this is just a sample it is the actual product is much prettier so if you're interested in how to use this and the details of the setting intention candle uh, you can go to the website and check it out okay all right so this reading for today, it is valid for a month. Let's see what's coming towards you. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. You've got the Ten of Swords. You've got the Ace of Wands. Um, If you are, you know, the first message I'm getting in here, Leo, is that you're in between, you know, moving on from the past. And then, you know, you're probably dating someone right now. Yeah, there is an element of you move on and there's someone right now, new-ish in the picture. Okay, there's an X element that you are somehow releasing and then you've got someone new. Um, the person that you recently, you are dating or getting to know, um, you know, they have a lot of responsibility. They, they have... You know, there, there are a lot of things on their plate right now. Um, but it's really, really, like, if you have doubt whether this, this is the person, I mean, yeah, it seems to be, but they're quite busy. Because I, I feel like there's a competition in terms of time. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Um, I would really suggest that you give this person as much time because... They are at a point of their life where once they are feeling satisfied with job, I feel like there is a business or job or career, they have this specific objective that it, it's in the last leg of the journey. And after that, this person will be able to really focus on love. And when this person is ready, you're pretty much the one that they will be um you, you you'll be the one who's next you know kind of thing so you're connecting with this person right now there is a very high potential that this this is the person that you will marry you know six of pentacles ace of wands there's just a little bit of you know time just give it a bit of time this person will be able to settle something i think for some of you this person is quite um there's a response because from eight, it becomes six. So it means that, you know, they've managed to complete whatever they needed to complete. It's related to family. It's related to business or career. I really feel like, you know, most especially Venus is going out of its retrograde. So right after Venus retrograde, pretty much around the 29th of January, things would go direct. So Things would fall into places with you and this person. So just wait. Um, for those who is in a dating or getting getting to know, go with the flow. It, it's looking really good. Okay, it's really looking good. Whoever it is, I feel like it's an energy right now. It's happening right now. So just go with the flow. 
go with the flow have fun it's so nice to wake up in the morning feeling inspired because someone remembers you so yeah it, re it really looks re it feels and looks promising so keep it going Leo now the second reading you've got the knight of cups the four of pentacles the ten of wands now there is an x in here if you're dealing with an x look if you're dealing with an ex, they have never, um, they have never really moved on with their feelings towards you. It's still there, but probably because you're not seeing each other, that's why, you know, the, you know, relationship, it gets stronger the more you bond, the more you see each other, okay? But you guys, maybe you break up or separated or there's some sort of block, you know, ten of wands, um, or coming to a point of a little bit distracted i say um well let's put it this way i'm really getting like a lot of x energy in here if you are manifesting an x they still have feelings for you ten of wands you guys are not yet over with the past okay you're not yet over with the past you know there's some sort of healing and forgiving that needs to take place but what is what is the possibility or the probability of you getting back in terms of feelings it is strong like it's just a sleeping giant you know the the, the feelings they have for you is big it cannot be forgotten right away ten of wands like tiptoe you know like this is you know like you and this person it like a very very delicate or complicated to just get back together you know like it's you wanted to but there's the 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 bridge or the way going back to each other there's it's quite delicate or it's quite um i'd say there's a sensitivity in in getting back right away there's a it the bridge between the two of you, it needs to be stronger it needs to heal it needs to be friends again you know so if you're thinking about your ex the feelings is still there, but it's kind of not practical right now because there is some, you know, element of you, you guys need to unload whatever is, you know, there, there's some sort of burden or there's some, there's some sort of low vibe energy that you guys still carry around and it makes the bridge, you know, not um, strong enough to hold. So you guys need to stay for quite some time out you know, so you can unload those low vibe energy, okay? And the Knight of Cups is emotional, you know, very strong emotional attachment with this person, your person, most especially your person. Moon card. Um, so you could be getting some sort of a hi or hello um, in the next new moon, around probably February February 4, 5, something like that. But first, first two weeks of February, you might get a high or high low. Or there's some, some there's some sort of there's some sort of important conversation. Not important, but it's more of it's a very significant message around around the first two weeks of Feb. And I feel like it would give you that signal that ooh, they haven't really moved on. Or if that's not the case you would feel like a gesture or a, a communication or somewhere where you exchange the message they will mention something and you feel important that okay we still have a chance okay so there there is you know four of cups there there is this element in here that there's this energy in here where it's kind of really asking you this is x reading the first the first reading it's not so it, it's it's really is asking you to let go to let go right now to unload whatever it is that needs to be unloaded um the right time will come which i pick it up um the first two weeks of february you and this person you've got this strong potential to really have you know four of wands talk about stability you'll talk about something about life something about career and then you'll talk about you it the conversation will lead into something you, you, you would talk casually. Some Something tells me that you would talk about something casual. And then the conversation will lead into, into something more serious about life, about work. And then the last part of the conversation, it would lead into relationship. And this is where you will get some sort of 
you will you will start you, you will feel or along the line or in between the conversation you will feel okay so they want to marry me or they still see me in in their future and stuff like that so keep it coming keep it there's a healing that needs to happen between the two of you before you guys really and also there is a cycle you know the wheel of fortune you know there is a healing and a cycle it's needing to be completed before you guys can really connect romantically so it's really important that you guys stay as you know as friends as possible you know like it something needs to go first before you go romantic with this person because you guys have a strong potential there's so much love in here there's so much feelings in here and i feel like four of pentacles if you're manifesting an ex they do they do want you but the universe is like yeah i can't just connect you if there's so much low vibe that you share so unload unload or unhate you know you guys cannot love each other then you should work on unhating each other because that's the only way you guys would you know lower the you know like when it's it's when you produce a lot of low vibe it add it it pull you down now if if there's if less you know over the period of time if you move on it's less and less burden so you more you feel more lighter more good vibe more in the good mood to connect so your reading it's kind of the it, it this is specifically an ex it's gonna you got you have a you have a chance there's love okay but something needs to go to unload so be as be a, start start as friends something needs to unload before you connect again in terms of romantic and you you would hear for, you know if even if you are not successful this january they're still next month so until such point that okay this is the right time so yeah be be really open-minded when it comes to you know to love because we will never really know until we get there even if those you know oh i close it i move on stuff like people change with me i'm quite i'd say you know um in this time of pandemic, you know, if there's someone who would love you like this, Knight of Cups, and genuinely care for you, why not? You know, it, life is too short to stay in that hate or low vibe energy. Just love. So I feel like you and your person, when all of that low vibe energy, you will just choose love. And this would go more than just what you think it is. Because there's your, your person is thinking the next... You know, because you because of the things that went through be, between you and your person, they're kind of thinking that okay, we Leah and I have been through this and that and this and that. The next thing is really serious, like marriage, kids, and long term commitment. That's that's the next thing between the two of you. Okay, yeah, most especially if dealing with your Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Do we have a sword? No. This specific reading, it's X. The first one is not an X. So, yeah. Good luck, Leo. This is your reading. I will see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.